this is a sad reality that Nigerian insecurity state has taken on legal dimensions and it appears that uh, the security of credit and effects of the government seem to have been overwhelmed and uh, the government of Tinubu is assuring the other Nigerians that uh, he will not rest until the agents of darkness are terminated. Who are the agents of darkness? All right, good morning, Niger uh, good morning, Nigerians. My name is Ansi Groma. I need no introduction. A lot of people know me as a man who speaks the truth all the time. The agent of darkness is government itself. That's the truth. Why we can tackle insecurity in this country. And I'm not saying it. I'm saying it confidently. I'm saying it because I'm too sure of what I'm saying. I'm not saying it because I want to talk. I'm saying it because I am very too sure of what I'm saying. The agent of darkness are the government. Who are the government? The people that are in power. They are the the, the agent of darkness himself. The, the people they are sponsoring are the people. And that is why government is unable to tackle insecurity. Let me tell you something. Foolish thinking of Nigerians. If the poor masses are responsible for insecurity, they would have copped it for long. But because the, the people that are behind it are also the government, that is why uh, it's not easy for them to tackle it. I'm telling you the truth because the people responsible for this act, they are inside the government. So how do you tackle such? Assuming it's just a poor mercy something, group of gangs from nowhere just gather themselves and are terrorizing the youth. I'm telling you by now they would have copped them out. By now they would have finished them. But because this group of people are governments, so that is the reason why it's looking a little bit difficult for them to cop these people. It's looking a little bit difficult for them to tackle these people. It's looking a little bit difficult for them to get hold of these people because these people know that they are the government themselves. And so that is why all these were empty promises that Tinibu is giving you. I don't go with all those empty promises. Now, again, he said they have summoned the Sabbath chief. Is it the same uh, endless rhetoric with uh, the past administration, Buhari, summoning of the uh, chief of staff or the chief of uh, army staff, navy staff? Is it the solution? See. How long will you summon them? How we all know. Listen. Them? He has not really summoned them the way I want. Let me tell you what, what I call summon. Unfortunately, uh, Nigeria has no reason that way. I will tell my service chiefs, I give me three months, cop these people out. Or oh, you risk your life, and I'm not going to give you anything. Um, then go work. <laughs> then go work. When you tell somebody, I give me three months to fish these guys out. And now, as it's hard on them, those who will be hard on the officers. And then at the end of the day, these guys will be fished out. But because what we do is what we call painting talk. And just make sure you do it. And just try to fish them out. Those are okay, sir. Rubbish. Now, these siblings adopted with their parents, with their father. Two of the daughters have been killed. This is in Abuja. And we can quite... be saying that they are not sleeping. We are not sleeping. It's now, quite... if you are not sleeping, your own support citizens have been adopted within Abuja Council, our six councils, and yet you are, happen to be the minister of the FCT. You say you are not sleeping. Then, weakest statement is is like, I don't know. Let me not use the wrong language so that people doesn't tackle me. Let me drop down. But we can try to talk like a child. You are not sleeping. What does what do you mean by that statement? Who is asking you whether you are sleeping? That is not what we are asking you. What we need now is action. Six people adopted, two killed. How do you expect the man to feel out of the six children God gave to him? Two killed. Now remaining four. Remaining four. And you are saying you are not sleeping. And nobody knows that of course the that's, of the that's what I'm telling you that because the mighty man are the one behind this kidnap. I don't know why are you going to get this thing, I'm saying. The big mighty men, the men in government, they are the one behind this kidnap. What did they Even if you arrest the kidnapper, listen, I know the one that happened in my face. We caught a kidnapper. I am among the people that caught the guy. We took him to a police station. They locked him up. After some time, a call came up. A call. They released a the fool. A call. Who called? Who gave that call? They release it. Order from above. They release a fool. And now is going. Now tomorrow, you expect me 
If I had kidnapper for me to pursue kidnapper again, my brother, I said it. I will not. I know what I saw on the day that will capture this guy. I know my efforts that I put in on that day. Because that day, I started the chase. The guy came, was I playing with the little child. But because I love children, then I was studying the guy. I noticed that the way this guy, guy is playing with this child is not the way somebody is supposed to flow with the child. So, my attention fixed on that guy. I was just watching him. Then all of a sudden, he now used something. Cover, just cover the girl's mouth. The guy couldn't able to talk. I was walking with the girl. That was when I started raising alarm. Hey, where are you? Before I started. Everybody, now alert. For him, now when he saw that danger is coming, he was trying to run. So we started pushing him. And that's how we got him. Now they gave instruction. That thing that you fix on the girl, he did it, he did it back. Now, we took him to the station. We are always going to the station to find out. We were told that a call from nowhere came from Abuja and it was released. So you expect me tomorrow too to see any kind of man, I can't do that again. This country is messed up. That's the problem we're having. You can capture it. And that's why I don't believe people. I don't blame people that give instant justice, deaths. Of course, that's what somebody like me will do next time. When I capture a kidnapper, instantly I will kill him. You know what? Because this guy, we took him to station. Police is your friend. Stupid police. We took him to a station. And at the end of the day, they, they released him. They did not even ask anything behind it. Now, tomorrow, if I take justice to myself, you say it's just uh, jungle this thing. Justice. Man, jungle anything, call it. That's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I capture a kidnapper. Instantly, I will use stone. Stone him to death. Now, we are saying they are What's happened to the DSS? See, I want, I want and to. They can't be detected. Can the person can be detected by the security or the What does that tell about? Like I want, I want to ask you something. If these so-called kidnappers are people from our poor masses, I bet you they would have captured them. But it, because these people have the strong backing of government. You don't know what government will tell them. Nothing they happen. We are government. Come on. Go with your business. They Come see it as business. The yeah, of course. They see it as business. They kill the two children. They don't feel anything. They don't feel anything. That is why I keep saying something. Sometimes when people preach religion to me, I can slap the person. When you preach Christian or Muslim, I can slap you. You know why? Because... Religion has so much eating deep into people's brain. Look at this guy that the kid is two children now. Which account does he write it? And if you look at it, it could be his most loved one that they killed. Which account is he going to be remaining for? And the four is not yet certain that they are going to be alive. That's the truth. Because I don't see the, the kidnappers making the four to be alive. They just want to make the man cry and cry. Do you know what it looks like for you to be training a child? I'm from nowhere because your country is facing insecurity, which government knows about. Because nobody talks. Tinubu is sick. This, uh, this kidnappers. Kidnappers is Tinubu. There's nothing they can tell me. When he was even the governor of, uh, 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 he, uh, when he was governor of Lagos State, so many atrocities were happening in Lagos State. He was, he was behind the bucket. How come now that you entered government, there is an increase in it? Let me tell you, the kidnapping, the kidnapping in Tinubu government is higher than in Buhari government. I swear to God. What are we talking about? Why you said, please don't give me. See, let me tell you something. What do you expect Tinubu to do, an old man? He said, don't worry, we are going to fish them out. Old man. Nonsense. Old man. And you said old man should come and rule your country. Now, every time things happen, don't worry, we are going to fish them out. Nara. <laughs>